Welcome to the Vans Off The Wall Moments. I'm Pua Di Soto, and these are the winners of the Vans Triple Crown of Surfing. For the champ going back to back. Come on up here for your 2021 champ, Carissa Moore. I'm really stoked, really happy to be taking home the Vans Triple Crown two years in a row. It's um, been really fun just to surf the North Shore waves and put in time out there and, and score a couple clips. The repeat performer, John John Florence. Feels awesome to win this event two years in a row. It's such a hard event, especially now that it's uh, month long and online. So it's pretty much anyone's game, it seems like, surfing all these waves. And with the amount of surf we've had lately, it's been super hard to keep up. Going into the Vans Triple Crown this year, I wasn't really like thinking about, you know, oh my gosh, I want to maybe win this event or this event. I just was just focused on surfing each wave the best that I could and enjoying the time at each spot. And I'm really glad it, it worked out at all three spots. Now you always have think about the last event or the last year and you always want to do better than you did before. And so it's, it's hard though in these events because you just don't know what the waves are going to offer. Just try to take advantage of every moment we had out there. And lucky enough, we had some pretty good waves this year. I think for me, this is the most I've ever surfed backdoor in pipe, and I was just really stoked on my one backdoor wave. It was the morning after a big rain, and the water was still really dirty and green, but somehow the crowd wasn't that bad yet, and I ended up getting a, a bad wipeout in the, on my first wave, and then I came in and I had to regroup, and I'm like, okay, this is my morning. Like, I have to go back out, and I was so stoked when I paddled into this one. Just it gives me a bit of confidence going into the CT event. I was pretty stoked on my uh, Haliva wave with the few turns in the barrel. It's fun to get a wave out there like that that connects all the way through. And they're really hard to find sometimes, so when you do find them, it, it feels pretty good. Most of 2020, I spent surfing a twin fin, and so I don't really own any other progressive craft. I'm a round nose fish um, that I use a twin set up with a little trailer from Matt Biolis is, uh, was, was kind of my go-to, and so that was kind of nice to just draw stuff out and kind of let go of the pressure that sometimes performance or forward riding brings. My progressive craft was a 6.0 swallowtail single fin with channel bottoms. Paisel made it for me about eight years ago or so, and it's kind of just been sitting under my house. And so I pulled it out for this event, and I was a little nervous how I was going to go back door, but I was actually really surprised how well it was like holding its line and kind of speed and everything about it. Just finished with the Vans Triple Crown and stoked to have this confidence boost going into the year. Thank you to Vans and the community and everyone around for putting this event on. It's been awesome to see everyone surfing and to be a part of it. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Thank you Vans for the amazing event. Go to VansTripleCrownOfSurfing.com for more details and to watch the waves. Aloha!